Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the build I used to make this video. For gear, I have the Chris Blade plus 5 for when I'm normally running through levels. Uh, it increases magic damage and does a good amount of damage itself. Um, I have the Talisman of Beast here for when I'm normally running through levels as well. Um, it scales with magic and faith, and it'll do a little less damage than the Insanity Catalyst, but it's still a very solid option if you're trying to preserve your MP. I keep the Morium Blade here uh, to increase damage for when I get low on health. It increases damage when you're 30% or lower. And I have the Insanity Catalyst here because it does the most damage for any catalyst in terms of uh, in terms of spells. So I use that when I'm about to fight a boss. It does cut your MP in half, however, so um, you're going to need 30 Intelligence if you want to use this and be able to cast Firestorm. Now for gear... I just wear what I think looks cool. Uh, you can switch the headpiece out for the silver coronet if you want more MP, or for the monk's head wrappings if you want more damage. However, uh, you don't really need too much more damage with this build. And um, for the rings, I have the ring of magical sharpness to increase magic damage, and the clever rat's ring to increase damage when I'm below 30% health. Now, when I'm normally running through levels, I'll switch this out for the cling ring. And that's pretty much it. As you see with my stats here, um, you can definitely redistribute some things here. Uh, I definitely recommend at least 30 Intelligence. Um, now, what I'm going to do with this build uh, for PvP, I'm going to actually bring Magic down to 40 and bring Vitality up to 40. Um, I would not do PvP at this level with less than 40 Vitality. But um, you can definitely redistribute some things here. Uh, I definitely felt comfortable with my stats this way, though. I never really faced any challenge. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy.